Hello everyone, Delightful here. I like the novel and the new, so today, let's see what the indie world has for me and you. Today it has Galaxy Squad. This is an indie sci-fi, yeah definitely sci-fi, kind of sort of FTL slash XCOM mashup. But it's also roguelike, but not traditional roguelike, because it's, it's very tactical, it's, you know, you'll see. It's very good. So, it has made a progression, that's why it's not a, a traditional roguelike. Uh, so, there's a story campaign, but this is all procedural, right? It's not just linear story. There's lots of choices to make in this, actually. It's pretty interesting. It's got a low-poly look to it. I focus on the combat, though, and the game plan. It's very good. There's a conquest mode. You can unlock all this stuff. Costs glory, which you earn from doing from playing the game, right? Free mode. You just do it. this game. Apps in the story. Restrictions and survival. Survive as long as you can against waves of enemies in the tactical XCOM-like or light battle system, which is very cool. And you start, and you can customize your party at the start. Thank you for this. So many RPGs, air quote RPGs, don't let you customize your party. And that kind of takes away a lot of the appeal of the RPG, of, of setting the board, as the player wishes, right? Come on here. Cody managed to show off the mana progression I would mentioned. It's actually not a lot of it. It's, it's meaningful. But, as I said, I, I beat the game without any of it. I unlocked- I chose to unlock a psionicist. That seems super cool, psionics. I could have also chosen the- the other modes of play, which I might do. Armor, the possibility of different weapons dropping. But, again, that, that's a railgun, right? But I've seen- there are other really powerful guns dropping that I chose not to get. There's a, like a lightning gun I could have scored. Plasma sword you can get. It's like, the meta progression is meaningful, but it's not necessary. It is the opposite strategy of something like, say, Rogue Legacy, where you're probably almost 99.9% .9 of people will not beat that game absent some kind of meta progression, right? You just, you're not going to be able to have the hit points and the damage and the, the mobility to survive it, right? Anyway. So I think, now I have three people at the start. I can have more than three in my party. I think it's five, then there's one unlockable slot I think you can get. I want support. I do want my medic. He's like phasing through the wall there a little bit. It's sci-fi, right? He's got the visor. Let's do that. Shooter's cool. Assault. Think assault from, you know, XCOM. Shotguns. But he has like a rage meter, kind of sort of like uh, the warrior from World of Warcraft. Yeah. Whereas the shooter has like focus. It's The classes are different. It's not just, hey, I use a shotgun. That's my thing. No, he can use different guns if you want, but he has different abilities. You can also customize how they look. I'm okay with this. Sort of girl Aussie thing going there. Um, I do like... Now, the shotgun's good, but I think I'll have a psionic class. I haven't played with that. These looks please me. You can customize their look. And you can put their stats as well when you start. It's been not, not apparent at the start. I'm like, <laughs> the first thing I started, I'm like, this is my battleship. I, I want to be able to customize the color. I'm not feeling the the lavender. <laughs> it's not not feeling. I mean, it's better than hot pink, but it's just, yeah, no. I, I need to be able to change this color. But I was the battleship. It's actually really cool. This is the FTL part of the game. See, there are four difficulty settings. Easy, which I would never do. Normal, which I thought, mm, I thought it was a little easy. Hard, we'll see if it's hard. And extreme, well, hard, we'll go hard. See if it is what it says on the tan, right? So this thing, this is a battleship, right? It actually has guns you can use in battle to like call down the guns after you teleport your team in to blast the party, to, to blast the enemy party. It's pretty cool. And my choosing start, do I want extra money? No, I want XP. I can have, sorry, for a bunch of level three characters, which is huge, and I'll be able to customize them more. Here's our bonus fuel. I did say it was an FTL influence, right? That's sort of how this game is. It meshes FTL and XCOM together. And there's an FTL component as you travel from sector to sector being chased by, you know, the dude you're running from. Or, and then there's the tactical component, the XCOM. I want, because you can buy extra fuel in the stations you find. I'm fine with XP. I like my characters. So we're loading. Creating the procedural generated both overworld and the, the tactical encounters you encounter. There's a story. You're pretty much, you're the underdog, the rebellion, and these bad dudes, corpo, capitalist, state, scumbags, they got this thing, and they do bad things with this thing, you'll see. And we want this thing. We're going to take it. We want the MacGuffin. And that, that's the story. Can't, there we go, I can skip it. They attack it, and they get the thing. But then, they know we got the thing, and they want their MacGuffin back, right? That's the story. It's serviceable, you yeah. know. So now, like, we're going to be chased from screen left to screen right, right? Like, like, like FTL. And that's, that's a story progression mode. 
like now I can go I can veer off this there's actually procedurally generated oh it's a cyborgs control this sector there are different factions there are psionic faction faction that's at the end game battle there of this run this is the FTL component they're black holes side quests you can get these space stations and you can refuel charge up your batteries your super space batteries so pretty much they're gonna be coming from here the big red line is gonna come I mean, you don't want to fight them they will they will stop you fight they got they got mechs they got a lot of dudes it's, it's not good now i can go squad these are the people i chose right my asylum assist they're everyone's level three right because i chose that so support their whole thing is they got a med kit they can use that's awesome now you guys do heal the full after the battle it, it's the future right it's fine whatever you're traveling you know at light speed across you know the galaxy fine you can heal yourself after battle it's cool you got like super advanced medical super glue or whatever healing with light but you see this guy okay he learns how to do it you use med kit he heals a target for 60 percent of their health and it costs 40 energy yep so the the medic their current their what's called it a made of currency or currency their their resource their thing their spell points their whatever is energy whereas the shooter guy is focus right he has focus Restores 20 focus every turn, so he's just kind of predictable, just getting it out like a sharpshooter. The energy guy restores 2 energy per turn, but he starts at 100. Yeah, different. And then, ah, the, the psionicist actually uses energy as well, but doesn't restore. Oh, okay. In, in, in the same fight, they mean. That's a big pistol, look at that. A big revolver, look at that. That's awesome. <laughs> the... Mental attack. Deal damage to enemy and apply psi pressure. Yeah, they're psionic enemies you can fight as well. They're like space ghosts. <laughs> There's a reference. Psionic regenerate. Oh, the psionosis can also heal. That's kind of cool. Restore 30% of health to all squaddies in six turns. That's pretty good. Psionic charge. Restore all action points for the ally, for the person, and increase their accuracy. Their accuracy. For around 10%. Oh, okay, yeah, whatever. I mean... Melting Minds is cool, and Sound Healing is cool. I like both those things. I also want Backup Healing. Sun Grenade is cool. Throwing Skin, I've never used it. I never end up using it. Now, it seems like, okay, all these active abilities you can pick, right? I'm getting excited. You can also choose to increase their stats. You go, okay, I want 20% more health. These are passives. These are actives, right? I want Healing. I want a Sun Grenade, and I want more 20% more energy, so 120. You... You're the blasty boy. He's got a rifle. Now that's three bullets of 24. This thing can hit like a truck if you hit all three. So I want to boost their accuracy. Steady shot. Ooh, no, no, no. I really like the grenade. Yeah, 75 focus, yeah. He manifests the grenade. He, he assembles it. Steady shot. Shoots the target with a 30% accuracy and 25% crit focus, crit chance. So if you really want to hit the shot. Armor piercing bullets. Every bullet destroys two points of enemy armor. So that's a passive, actually, but okay. That's pretty good. But I don't think I'm going to be encountering enemies of armor in the initially, so I don't feel like I need to get that right now. Hmm. I want this. Well, I do want accuracy. 10% accuracy on my shooter. That's something I want. Movement speed is actually huge, because remember, this is a cover shooter. This is a tactical cover shooter. A tactical turn-based cover shooter like XCOM. So it's half cover. There's full cover. It can be destroyed. Things like that. So we have hit points, because this guy's going to be up front. So that's the five. One, two, three, four, five. Five active in the, in the squad, and you can unlock that eventually. And then you also have a reserve component. Psionicist, what are we going to do with you? I mean, more energy, particularly as you don't get it back. That seems smart, right? Okay, that's the FT. That's the XCOM component. The FTL component, boom, shift. Now I can upgrade my ship, right? Now, currently, I'm generating power. That's a waste because 40 is my cap, right? So I want to upgrade my ship, my battleship. And I can actually visit a shop in one of the space stations like that one to upgrade that component for credits. That's the currency in the game. It's credits, energy, and fuel. Also XP for the characters and not losing them because they can die. You don't want to lose people. You can also buy mercs, stuff like that. What do I want? So I can make the generator have more energy. That's cool, right? But also, I can also have a photon cannon. Allows you to attack ships and events and use orbital lasers in mission. Each system adds one attack. It's, it's, it's AoE. It's very nice. I like to do it. So, in four turns, they're going to construct that. It's like, okay, well, I can just wait here. Don't do that. Don't do that. Remember, you're being chased. The time pressure's there. 
I don't have any system information. The smart bet is to go to the first system to push for the system so I can get side missions, which are randomized as well. I get credits. And random events like FTL. You jump at your destination and come to the orbit of a planet. A quick scan reveals some activity on the surface. Land and investigate, of course. We're adventurers. So look at that. That's why I was comparing Texcom, right? Uh, I can pan around the camera, W, A, S, and D, and I can also Q and E rotate the camera. Thank you for that. It's not just locked isometric. There's also random events. Ooh, I haven't seen this one. Obelisk grants ancient knowledge. And we're fighting mercs, bandits, weaklings. You guys only got a knife. This one's got a pistol. He's in half cover. Okay. So it's we go, they go. I believe it's we go, they go. Yeah. So who are you? You're the psionicist. I like the, the guns are different. I can tell. I can also, yeah, it's we go, they go. So I can tab over. And that red line indicating I have a shot from here. If I take the shot, my turn ends. I mean... I prefer to run to here, get behind full cover, right click, I like it, I like it too, and then, okay, so I got a clean shot, there are three enemies, there are three enemies, so I didn't see, fog of war, I didn't know that guy was there, now I do, I'm not worried about you, I can gun you down as you rush me, alright, what do you, medic, what do you have, You medic has a submachine gun, that's cool, I'll advance you to this position here, behind full cover, and, so I'll have, I'll have the soldier take the shot. Well, can I, can he hit a grenade from there? So four. He can. Hell of an arm, man. Go for it! <laughs> That's why grenades are awesome. Check out the cover and blew one guy away. Completely crushed him around the boulder. The other guy's a mess. <laughs> hmm. Now I couldn't do a double move here and get behind that cover there. I mean, he, yeah, actually I'm gonna take the, the Sionicist and run for XP. Get the goodies. Learn! And 65 bonus XP on him. Right. You want to you score those things if you can. See, it gives me. Again, I was comparing to XCOM, right? It's an indie XCOM. As I. He's behind half cover. I have a 0% chance. Don't do it. And see, open. So I have a clean line of shot to give me the lines. 72% chance to hit no cover and into the attack. One of them hit. All I need one. Remember, he's was firing a burst, right? One shot was enough to drop him. I can advance to here. But I tell him they warned me I won't have line of sight. I guess he's not peeking. Hmm, whatever. Is there anything I want in this map? Because sometimes they'll grab everything, sometimes they won't grab everything. I have to really clear it. He's only got a knife. I'm not worried about him. I'll advance to half cover here. With the Sionosis. Ooh, my abilities. Oh no, this is my medic. Machine gun, please. Submachine gun. And... Melt the mind? I wonder. I wonder. I'm going to go here. And, and see if I can melt his mind. I can! I sensed his presence. And <laughs> I blew up his brain. <laughs> Three stars, yay! Pretty fun, right? Yeah. I really like this game. I think it's underrated. What should I do now? I, that was a nice little random mission. Now, I click on each system, I can go there. Do I want my first story mission? No, 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 no. I want space station. I go to the space station, looks pretty cool, right? And they'll tell you, like, there'll be exclamation points wow style, someone has a quest. This guy wants to talk to me. Hello, plebs, what are you doing here? Mm. It's your trigger finger. Just passing by. Oh, I'm bored and you look funny. Tell me a joke and I'll give you a couple coins. Uh, bye bye. I need another option. <laughs> Abduct? <laughs> Bourgeoisie? No, no. Just kidding. I thought security doesn't allow people like you in here. In any case, you might prove useful. Thanks, thanks. All right, job. He wants rare artifacts. Now I have to do the job and get back to him. I remember I'm being chased, right? So you want to time this out. Yeah, whatever. Job. Get the money, because you can use money at higher mercs, can use it to upgrade your ship, and you can use it to buy cool weapons, and you can get some really good stuff. Hello, robot. Federation Colony at TY-8 requires food supplies. Please assist in transporting this food. Oh, that's a low beam machine. Not paying much. 30? Alright, you can go on the, on the ship location as well. Unlock additional slots. Very expensive. Fuel and recharge generators. Nah, I don't need that. Here we go. That's what I was looking for. What do you want? Daughter's kidnapped. Traveling on a cruise ship near BN-77. Ship was attacked by bandits. Okay. That's a better mission, 70, see? Now, I, I don't have to do these things. I can just X them out. But I do want the money. Oh, 
Oh, that's nice. You notice that. So my psionicist was the one who grabbed the obelisk, but it was shared for everyone. That's nice. That's nice. He shared the knowledge of his friends. He's a good buddy. Now, no, we don't have much. Like, we have no armor. We should probably buy armor. I tend to buy armor when I start. How much money do I have? It would be nice if it showed me my currency currently. I don't think... Do I really have zero dollars? I have no money. <laughs> I wish you showed me my money. I have no money. Oh, I thought I started with money. I didn't. That was a perk. You could have chosen to start with money instead of levels, but... I chose, and I have no money. <laughs> I could sell guns. I could sell that, that backup side. I'm not going to. But I could. Okay, no money. I went... It was the bar. There's also a little button setting if you can't find each thing. The tavern is... Not here. So you get this little message if, for whatever reason, the bar was not generated in this location. That's fine. Because there are more NPCs out here in the, the promenade. I'm guessing there is a an atmosphere here and it's like invisible dome not seeing whatever back to the ship i can just click that here or click there it's fine so we got the mission save my daughter that's worth 70 right right there and hostiles detected okay that's the other mission priceless artifact food delivery i don't see as very vital because well, i'll do it if i can but plenty detected so there's a landing mission there i want to go there this looks like the ship with the daughters that captured ms miller's miller's daughter attack the ship so we teleport over and we attack the reporting party, right? And looking around the, the interior locations. Pretty cool. What have we got here? Weapon crate. Gives a powerful weapon with one time use. One time use. So it's gonna break or something. Who's gonna go for that? Okay, we got a little bit of sight. Space dog. Fast and agile, you melee, melee. Okay, where's my where's my He's got the assault rifle? It's like half cover here. So what kind of arm he has? Not that much of an arm. Doesn't he have attack? There's also an overwatch, of course. So I can set an overwatch, and he'll just fire. I don't have to even set a directory. A direction. Like that cone, he's just gonna hit if they advance. And they'll advance. They're melee, I can just overwatch them to death if I really want to. Psionicist will go and score the goodies behind that half, that full cover there. A minigun. One shot. Okay. And, oh, that was the doctor doing that. Fine, whatever. Can I... Sonic regeneration. Mental attack. Can I, like, do it from anywhere? No. See, I don't have my gun yet. On oh, my ship, it's not, it's not built yet. It's almost built. Not yet. I think... They're probably gonna push to here. I'd push to there. So I go here. And then just two overwatch. Confirm it. Overwatch set. And everyone's set, right? You're overwatching as well. And then you're set. Do you have, no, you have an action left too? Do it. Okay, we need to do end current turn. Shed end of turn. Oh, these they not get advance. Okay, then we can come to them. That's what's going on. Okay, now they spotted me. Oh. One shot. Ooh, I thought he was gonna fan off a few. He did not. Okay, that's fine. I mean, I guess it's okay if I'm in out of cover because yeah, that's the one. There we go. So look, why wasn't that working? Because that's not great. Uh, I'll just overwatch. There we go. Nice. See, the doggies can move. All right, now this works good. I can take cover here, and I should be able to lean over. There we go. This is a cyborg dog. Blood came out. I did want to see if I could mind blast the psionic dog, but I don't know. If I use this, it heals 30%. I just want to see how effective it is. Eh, a little bit. Back to there, and melt them. <laughs> Brain explosion. Oh, cool. One of them had a small dodge implant. Nice. So who's gonna get that? They see the warning me, well, reminding me that hey, you got that. Probably. S mm. I'll give it to this guy. He's often in front, so five percent chance of dodge. Yep. Cool. 
And I went here. Oh, and then I have to complete the mission, right? Remember, I have to go back. 70 bucks. It's worth it. Ooh, photon cannons completed. And I have your daughter back, dear lady. Thank you so much. Here's the 70 credits I owe you. Yeah, damn right. Alright, now what do we got in here? Now I got some money. Small accuracy implant, grenade launcher. Oh, I didn't even check out the minigun I got. I think they tossed it. It was only going to work on that ship or something. They had like a chip in it. Light armor. I'll buy a bunch of light armor sets. That was a magical, a better one, we'll say. Oh, come on, I have just enough. Be like that, be like that game. Like, no, 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 we're not gonna spend all our money. The responsible adventurers, right? Okay, that's fine. All right, so I think the psionicist. No, I think I'll keep him in the back. I think, yeah, because the doctor might be rushing out to heal people. Gives me armor. Reduces damage by 16%. Every tick gives you more. It's a lot, actually. It really adds up. You want me to do the storm mission? I won't do the storm mission. Not yet. Anything off to the west? Am I being chased yet? Yeah, they're coming. Priceless artifact. I guess I'll go here. Then I'll head over there. A job well done. Uh, I mean, I'll do the job, I guess. So they're recommending level 1, but I took the level advancement at the start. Storm mission. Guns ready? Cool. I guess it's just a talky one. I also want the shock cannon. It allows you to attack and stun enemies in battle. Not that too. See how they go, my energy will be training. You encounter a bandit ship, which seems to be transferring hostages from the ship that was attacked nearby. They contacted you and offered money so you wouldn't attack them. See, I have a nice little choice here. Save the peoples, and also gain XP for my peoples. Because I value XP more than money. Alright, nothing behind me. The gun's operational, you see? Orbital strike. I don't know where they are, though. I want to know the range on that sonic blast ability. Bandit. Can I hit him from here? Not quite. Submachine gun? Got it. No, I can, but I shouldn't. And you. Can you mind frying him from there? Oh my god, you can. <laughs> so as long as he can see him, he can blast him or sense him. That, that's wild. He just has to be aware of him. Awesome. Uh, I will overwatch, actually. Nice. So you overwatch. It's awesome. We dropped the dog in, didn't we? They're all dead. <laughs> One enemy left, yeah. Oh, suicide bot. Yeah, okay, okay, this, this works. Okay, now can I frag the bot? I can. So it's like kinetic, right? He's like, he's like doing like a Jedi thing, crushing him. Like, uh, what was it like? Ah, 125 XP. Cool. For rescuing the peoples. Nice. You arrive at the planet DX707. The artifact seems to be down the planet in the middle of the bandit camp. Ah, see this? Yeah, see, we have the gun. So yeah, I can land the planet or I can just contact them and say I will burn their camp with photon cannons. Red right, firing warning shot. They agree and teleport artifact on your ship. Yay! <laughs> Intimidation. No bad dudes. Right, they learned. Hostiles detected. If I go there, I'll get a battle. Why not? You're flying near a space station when your ship was spotted by a police patrol. Uh, okay. Yeah, okay. So, enemy patrol. The fascist forces found me at the same. I found them, but whatever. It's only it's a light patrol. Crate contains different items. That's cool. I will advance with my gunner. Yeah, you'll get the goodies. I like goodies. Small critical implant and fascist forces and drone shockers. They can lock you down. Be careful of them. Health capsule restores health and adds 50 to max health. Well, that's permanent. That's cool. He's all exposed. That's really bad. I do have the gun operational. So what I can do. Very impressive, huh? They're both dead. I want hard, mind you. Just disintegrated them like they're nothing. There's a space cannon, though. You expect that, right? Now, I should be able to mind frag this guy from over here. Explosion! <laughs> yeah, Sionis is awesome. 
Whatever, hell, I take the shot. I missed. Good. And I'll see, can I mind frag the drone? I can. Yay. Oh, oh, oh. I don't know if I got the med thing with the just bailed. Ah, small accuracy implant, so I'm gonna give that to my... Well, I mean, the mine frag always hits, right? He's always blowing up brains. So I want the accuracy increase on my assault rifle. And small crit, yeah, I mean, he lands a lot of hits. So yeah, pleased with that. And now I can connect to here, right? And then get back to this location. A little, kind of low on energy. Your shock cannon's done good, you're good. Now, I need energy. I can upgrade my gun. It's tempting, but I need more energy right now. I need advanced generator energy capacity by 30 and energy restoration by 6. I need that. Two, four, six. How long is it going to take to build? I'll need to buy energy. I mm, hate it. It's expensive. Hmm. But after this, I might not need to. Hmm. So I did the mission. I got the thingy he wanted. Here's the thingy. Where's my money? I got my money. Alright, now, the thing is, I'll need to buy energy, but do I want to buy it now? Maybe not, because I, I might be able to, like, my energy drain is minus two a turn. Two, four, six, eight. I have four jumps. I can, I can get to the next station. I'll have to buy fuel now. Good. Useful loot detected. They, mm, okay. Two, four, six, eight. I have four jumps. One, two, three. Okay, this works. So you might, you see the FTL component to this game? It's really cool. Is there anything I want here? As you, as you advance and get you to, uh, further west, uh, deeper into the galaxy, wherever you're going, the shops have better stuff, right? You're like on the fringe or whatever, or <laughs> you're probably actually near the center, or the center of the galactic whatever empire you're in, but like they practice arms control, they limit the good stuff, right? You gotta get out to the periphery where the military industrial complex sends their stuff to get the good stuff, right? You just got the small arm stuff here. Uh, we all have armor, right? We kind of need some armor, yeah. Visor's cool too. Five to accuracy, yeah, I guess who's getting that? Bye. Now look at look at the armor. Sometimes they have little modifiers on them, like this one. And it costs the same, right? This one's just a little bit better. Yoink. Health implant? Mm. Small resource implant. Ooh. Ooh, that's nice for my psionicist. Yeah, I get a brain implant, dude. You're cool now. Hunting rifle, so different weapon. Very accurate, the accuracy boost. But one shot. Right, whereas I'm getting three shots of this um, future assault rifle here, this bullpup assault rifle. Look at that. <laughs> Some machine gun, grenade launcher, mm, pistol. I'm happy with that. That's good. I like that. And food supply. It's kind of a low mission. So I'm offering a lot. Now you get some armor now. Who, who what are you wearing? Really? Dodge. Okay, I'm happy with that. You need some armor. So I get some crit chance. And some armor mitigation. Did I really just buy two suits of armor? No, no, I already had. There we go. Okay. Good. And visor. No, you get the energy boost. 144. Oh, I already impre Ooh, I already increased it. So it's a percentage thing. Yeah. It's not 140, it's 144, right? Oh, that four is going to make a difference, but I'm appreciative it exists, right? Now this guy's got a passive 12% dodge. And he's getting plus an 81% base chance to hit, right? Looking pretty cool, pretty sci-fi. All right, so RPG, love it. All right, now I have to keep track of my fuel. I'm um, Not my fuel, my energy. So I want it. One, two, two, four, six, eight, because energy drain minus two until I get that drone, that uh, facility operational. Two, four, Assuming I don't hit a novel to drain my energy, I'll be able to make it. I like to explore. You've been flying near some asteroids when your scanner detects some activity inside one of them. It looks like there's a cave system in the asteroid. That's cool. Zero-G caves. Love it. But we have, like, artificial generators or magic boots or whatever. <laughs> Magnetic boots, and it's, it's a metallic asteroid. We, we feel the need to walk around. We're just used to that, so we have to stomp around. What's here? Cool crystals are here. That's cool. Kill all enemies. There are eight enemies here. We picked up by a scanner, I guess. I think they're to my west. Perspective west, this way. So, I think assault rifle guy. Oh, we can't move as far. Hmm. Oh, well, I guess. I mean, it's not necessary that you're in the front, right? I, I guess. How far can you get, Doctor? You here. You see anything? 
No. That, that's why that scanner thing you can get could be useful. I'll advance you to here just for visibility. Something. Rare acid zombie commander. Yeah, he's like a cyber zombie. These things, when they die, they explode. Look how tough he is. Oh, frag his mind. Urgh. 144 cyanic pressure. On the sides of his head. <laughs> and you can advance to do probably should have kept one as an overwatch. That's a zombie though, super slow, I'm not worried. Now you can overwatch. Enemy phase. Nice! See? Submachine guns are helpful. I find they have more range than the shotguns on this, so. That thing, that that's the threat. But I should probably burn a zombie. Remember, I have my gun operational now. And my stunning gun, so I should use that too. That just locks him down for like two turns. Alright, so I have to like... Okay, so there are many of them. But they're all... See? Shocks for two turns. Or... Now, I want one of them to die. Acid zombie creates acid cloud after death. Yeah. So I can... Bl that's a cockroach? You. Co cockroaches? Okay. Okay. Oh, that's right. Very nice. Oh, they're kind of squishy. Alright. Hmm... I can lock them down, I'm not actually worried about him, but I need to drop you. I... 100% chance to hit. I wonder if the submachine gun might be more effective. Wait, if it's, it's pretty open, right? I also have a stun grenade with the doctor. Take the shot. Almost. Almost had it. Don't want to fall back. I could fall back with you. I could just pistol him, really. Ugh, it's unfortunate he lived. I don't want to waste the shot. I might have to. No, I'm not. I'm not stunning him. That's ridiculous. I will. Once my turn's over. I'm have to stun. Can I? Can I like, guarantee you can finish him? No. Take a shot. No. It's horrible. Practice more, please. Okay. There we go. Thank you. But see, that's quite a lot of acid there. I want to take 20 AP to fire that thing, though, so... Nice. I have to lock you down. You don't get a turn now. And to see... Can I finish you? Yes. Excellent. Anyway, so the acid actually hurts themselves as well. They get, like, it's sealed up in nasty... ampules or sacks within them. Ugh. Horrifying. Now... Oh, there you go. Doctor help. Nice. Machine gun. See, it's tactical. It's very tactical, actually. Ah, can I get them both in a grenade? I can! Grenades are awesome. It's very effective. <laughs> and from here... He's slow. He's not gonna be able to reach me. There's one enemy left. Weapon crate. Powerful weapon, one-time use. I guess they somehow bound him at the strong magnetosphere of this asteroid. And this will not function outside it. <laughs> I wish we could take something, like, if it was plausible. Like, sometimes we could take the weapon out of it. I don't think we can, though. Two shots at... How hard does this thing hit? So if I can land both shots, it's more effective than fragging, the, fragging them. Four... Do it again. No ammo. God damn. Hmm. Make one shot, then attack them on. Yay! That's how you do it. I got some light armor. Cool. That's nice. I can sell that. Wait a minute. Remember, energy's going down. This is fuel as I use it. And that is showing me that I got some cool armor I can sell. I'll probably hang on to it, because I can get additional squaddy. And I do want, I can use five people right off the bat. Kind of like XCOM. Or oh, XCOM 6, isn't it? The, the new XCOM? It's newish XCOM. Not, not classic XCOM. You arrive at the space station, saw fire and a shootout on the street. A band of marauders is raiding the station. I guess I'm going to land there and see what happens, because I need the fuel. What's that? A data terminal. More XP! And knife bandit, who cares? Suicide drone, take that thing out pronto. Oh, I wonder if I frag it, it'll blow up. Maybe. Rare bandit survivor, he's super tough. And a bandit, I could just use the laser. I might use the laser. I mean, just look at the armor on that guy. <laughs> look at that. 
that could be the best use. Oh no, I'd like to get it there, but I'll, I'll use it here. That's fine. <laughs> also takes out that cover. And then I can laze these guys. Oh, but a strike. It's pretty hard. And you my submachine gun. Position on the other side of the car. Submachine gun's not as great at range. So you want weapons to fire and burst, particularly when you start, right? Bop, bop, bop. So that's each weapon has a, each one has a chance of hitting. And I can just park you off to the side, man. You just gotta like not die. Who wants to get brain fried? Uh, the guy with a gun. Oof. Yeah, it's not gonna happen. He, ow! He actually reached me. That's fine, you can heal him. Ow! I didn't think they'd reach me. They just kind of blitzed me and just... Okay, good for you. Good for you guys. Oh, this opens them up to him. I can just stun them. I can take one clean shot here. He lived. He wasn't supposed to live. Now you, grenades off, but I can stun, stun, stun if I need to. If I submachine gun light up on you, yeah, I figured you'd get at least one hit there. Just to ensure you don't get a turn. Well, that's a hundred percent. I'll take it. I, I, I took the chance that you know it's not like XCOM and that hundred percent chances can still miss. <laughs> they didn't do that to me, thankfully. Bye bye. <laughs> Seance, this is awesome. Oh, I guess you should run out like that. That's cool, too. Oh, he's hiding. I love it. I'll take the cover here. And if he chooses to pop out, he dies. You can use the energy kit. You can just tab over and heal himself. That's good. Woo! I, mean, I like the boldness. That was pretty cool. I want the, the XP. I know he's not overwatching. Cool. And I'm just going to blow out your mind for that. That wasn't cool. Oh, is he just out of range? No, he, no, he wasn't. He dead. A light helmet. Cool. And some money they had. And XP. We leveled. Who wants the helmet? It's just ar armor and damage. Hmm. I think the doctor should get it. Because I don't know if that damage is going to stack to his... Well, I could see. I guess I could see if it works on Sionis. I mean, it's his head. It's on his head, right? It should... Boost his mental damage, right? Alright, now. Sana says, what? Ooh. Put target in a trance state. Any damage removes the effect, so I can lock him down again, right? Drain energy. Oh, I can be like a psychic vampire. I love it. Deal 25 damage to the enemy and restore 60 energy to the character. Oh my god, psychic vampire. Yes. Psionic storm, like StarCraft. The Protoss guy. Deals damage to all enemies in the area. Dealing additional damage if enemies have psionic pressure applied to them. So I could apply pressure with the mental attack and then just blow up their heads. Very cool. Can also clear their skills, I guess. Put them in the brainwashing machine for some money. What do you want? Barrage is really cool because it fires. It's, it does a mag dump with less accuracy, but it's actually pretty good when you drop something fast. Mobile cover is tempting. Crippling attack. Attacks all enemy. Huge radius, dealing 5 damage, decreases speed. It's almost like spray and pray. He's just trying to hit kneecap people, I guess. Pin him down. Decreasing speed by 2, actually by 50%. It costs a lot. I'd rather just grenade them to lock them down and waste them that way. Barrage is good, but I tend to use grenades, right? Movement, because he was already falling a bit short in terms of where I wanted him. Doctor... Charge ally. Restores ch ch rage focus of an ally. Rage and focus. You know how they're very careful not to say energy? So you can't have two doctors boosting themselves up. Or you can't charge up the psionicist. Very careful there. Protection feels cool, but it does benefit the enemies as well. I'll take it. Yeah, it's pretty good. And now we can visit the... How's the ship looking? The ship needs energy. To, if I get two turns, I have to charge up here. Where's the station? Oh, I'm not at the station. Well, it's fine. Go to station. See, it looks different. Dragon theme on this one. This one has a bar. You have a mission? What are you doing? My photonic accumulator is broken. I can't quite get... It's not working. Um, 
Um, hmm. I mean, I could do this for XP. You can charge it with the generators on our ship. Thank you so much, guys. You really helped me out. Here's something for you. I lost energy. <laughs> Here's the thing. I didn't have 17 energy. I figured that would do that. So I only lost four energy. Ha ha. And now I can charge up again. That's so smart. <laughs> Tadula Shiba, you don't have the energy. You should have charged up. But you know, whatever. I'll take it. Depleted my battery. I'm just gonna recharge it though, so whatever. Recharge generator. Ouch. So I did it. My ship's damaged? Oh yeah, like FTL ship can become damaged. That's fine. It's only a little damaged. A little scuffed. It's okay. Alright, so I got some money from you. Batteries are charged. Is there a gun store? There is a gun store. Hello. The lucky hat. Food or dodge through the crate. It is a very lucky hat. Medium armor, so we're already getting better armor. That's a huge boost. That's actually 10 to armor. That's incredible. I want that. Fine. Fine. I should probably pick up another squatty, too. A sniper rifle. One shot, but it takes two AP. That's the thing on that. Shotgun. They hit like a truck. But they're not so good at range. They're all firing shot. I want the hat. And let's see if I can find a mercenary in the bar. I might be able to do that. Yeah, escape doesn't look like that. It's okay. Go in the bar. And there's a merc. Hello? Well, how about you, Mr. Fishman? Oh, sorry, Dinosaur Man. Hey, buddy, how's it going? Guys, my good friend's in trouble. He, he's lost on a weird planet. Okay, 60 bucks. I'll do it. There's no penalty for failing quests. You just Sometimes you just get... You're too far ahead and you can't go back. So just, you know, use X the quest in that case. You guys aren't worried about that rap. Merce, Kathy. She's a assault. A two? Alright, fine. How are you? Welcome aboard, Kathy. I've got a ship now. She looks like she has a shotgun. I can give her a different gun. I might want to. And just get back if you look bad there. Currency is very low. Can't afford anything else. But I have gear for her, so that's fine. She is assault level two. She has a scatter gun. I'll give her some. No, wait, 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 wait. My coolest guy gets the coolest armor. That's how it goes. There's an argument to be made to be given it to give this armor to the to the assault because she's gonna have to push with that gun of hers. There's also an argument to be made that to give her a pistol as a backup because he's his submachine gun. That's a machine pistol, right? He doesn't need two pistols. That's silly. This gives her something to use when she at range, right? Yeah, I find it a bit better at range. The lucky hat. Who gets the lucky hat? The coolest guy gets the lucky hat. But I kind of like his dodge. Lucky hat gives you dodge. All right, yeah, you, get, you get the lucky hat. There you go. You know, it helps with that hair. <laughs> Covering it up a little bit. There's a lot of purple there. Too much purple. My taste, anyway. Who gets the coolest armor? Probably the assault. I get the coolest armor. Which means I can sell that old set for a little bit of money. Now I have to level it too. She's assault, so their thing is rage. They get rage when they attack or receive damage. And it's, they get angrier, pretty much. I want her more hit points to be smart. Reloading would be fast with them would be good too because it's a shotgun. Taking fire for three turns makes all enemies attack this soldier, so she can tank as well. Increasing armor by five and restoring five ten percent health per target. That's actually really good. I can park it behind cover and just use that. And give her hit points because now she has a tank. She's my tank. Yep. And head back to the store, to the, to the station to sell that sort of light armor I don't need. Yeah, do that. Yeah, not bad. Half what I would pay for it. So yeah, a little bit of money. Ooh, I should check, see if there's an implant I want here. Health implant? Ah, it's a medium now. 50. It's not bad. Accuracy implant, everything's too expensive here now, though. Oh, well. I'm gonna put a little break in here, but this is Galaxy Squad. It's really cool. Just have to keep these videos so manageable. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. Bye.